Good morning. So the Bible tells us that we are to bear one another's burdens, right? That it is no surprise. Do not be surprised when these fiery trials come upon you because your brothers and sisters all across the earth are experiencing the same things. But how often are we reaching out? I was just convicted about this um, yesterday. I was just convicted because somebody reached out from my, my previous church um, and they they did like a, a chain, you know, with four different people just kind of reaching out to remind us that we're supposed to stay connected with the brethren, right? We can never be too busy. I don't care what you're doing, whether it's ministry, whether you work one job, two jobs, you can never be too busy to reach out to your brothers and sisters in Christ and say, how can I pray for you today? You can never be too busy to reach out to your brothers and sisters in Christ and give them one word of encouragement. Encouragement, one one word of hope, one word of faith, one Bible verse that's really just going to touch their heart. Ask the Lord what they need, right? Because he knows better than us what someone needs. So I just want the Lord to lead us in a prayer today because he knows what you need. He knows what the cries of your heart are. He knows what keeps you up at night. And I want to go to war for my brothers and sisters because it's the month of October and these witches are working overtime. Okay, they're working overtime with all kinds of spiritual warfare. So I have no idea what you're going through, but greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he that lives in you. If you are a born again believer, if you have confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Lord and that God raised him from the dead. If you have repented of your sins and you experienced that godly sorrow where you were cut to the heart about your condition and really wanted to get rid of the sin in your life, then I have good news for you. You see, the fervent prayers of the righteous carry weight. They avail much. They are powerful and they are effective. And we can't forget that. So don't with your, withhold your prayers from your brothers and sisters because that is one of the greatest gifts that you can give them other than, of course, the free gift of salvation leading them to the cross of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if they're, if they're not, if they're not brothers and sisters, that's the next best gift that you can give someone. But don't forget to pray for people, not just yourself, not just your immediate circle, not just your neighbors, your coworkers, your friends. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Pray for the people who are not praying for themselves. So today I want to lift up my brothers and sisters. I don't know what you're going through, but the Lord does. And so right now, Lord God Almighty, we just call upon you, Lord of heaven's armies, scatter all the forces of hell coming up against my brothers and sisters in Christ, trying to torment their minds, Lord, trying to fill their minds with all kinds of condemnation, trying to get them to question whether or not they are truly saved. I command all that torment to cease right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. Satan, I rebuke you and all of your lies, Lord, for every lie that the devil has told them. Present them seven new truths today about who they are in you. We can do all things through Christ and nothing without you, Lord. Empower us, enable us, and equip us to walk in victory because there is victory in your name, Lord Jesus. There is victory in your name. We are triumphant in your name. We are not triumphant in our own strength. We are not triumphant in our own abilities. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the mighty work that you're about to do for your people today. Lord, lift the heaviness. Anybody who has had a spirit of heaviness attacking them, they just feel weary. They feel tired. They feel burdened. They don't even know why. They got plenty of sleep, but they woke up tired today. The spirit of heaviness is leaving you now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of heaviness is lifting off of you today in the name of Jesus. And in exchange, let a praise rise up in your heart. Heart because the Bible says we are to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The reason why the spirit of heaviness comes upon us is because we are not giving the Lord the rightful praise that he is due. So if you have not been giving the Lord what is rightfully his, which is praise in every situation, every occasion, every circumstance, no matter what, because you are praising him for all that he has done for you since the womb. Hallelujah. So I pray that a praise would just rise up in your hearts right now. A 
praise. I pray that you would command your soul to rejoice and your soul belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. So your soul has to, has to answer that command. When you command your soul to worship, that is your mind, will, and emotions. You're asking your mind, will, and emotions to come into alignment with God's word, the living and active word of God. And he commands us to praise him at all times. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for what you're about to do. Any depression I command to lift right now, depression, sadness, anguish has no place in you in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter what you're going through, yes, we can go through periods of grief and it's normal to be grieved. It is not normal to live in that place. So if you've been living in that place, if you have been abiding in that place, if you have been, if you have been residing in that place, you are coming out today. You are coming out today and you're going to the secret place. Lord, draw them. I pray that they would have a hunger and a thirst for your word. I pray that they would have a hunger and thirst for your righteousness. I pray that they would have a hunger and thirst for prayer, for praise, for intercession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pour out your spirit, Lord. Help us to operate in our gifts more effectively, especially if we're just starting out. If we've just been given a gift and we have no idea how to operate in it, Lord, enable, empower us and equip us to be able to walk victoriously, sharpen our discernment, Lord, keep our feet from traps and snares, be a light to our feet and a lamp to our path, Lord. Expose anyone that is in our lives right now that's trying to make their way maybe into our heart. Expose anyone right now that is in our lives that it has some kind of a monitoring spirit just trying to watch everything that we do, Lord. Expose anyone that is not of you and send them away. Shut every door that you did not open. Shut it and seal it with your blood, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Shut it, shut it and seal it, oh God, with the blood of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord, because we don't want anything that is not of you. Give us sharper discernment. Your word says, my sheep know my voice. My sheep hear my voice and are strangers. They will not follow. They know who I am. Lord, if they don't know your voice, Lord, if they've been deceived, if they've been listening to another voice and they think it's you and it's causing all kinds of confusion, I command that to cease today. I command that to cease right now in the name of Jesus. I nullify whatever effects that that other voice has had over you causing distress stress or frustration or confusion. We just bind up frustration, confusion, and distress right now in the name of Jesus. We bind it up and command it to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 For anybody right now that has just been downcast, downcast. You don't, you don't even know. You don't even know why you can't get out of your own way, but you seem to be joyless. You seem to just have no happiness in your life whatsoever. No peace. I command right now for anything that has been robbing you of your peace to go in Jesus name. We bind it up and cast it out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bind it up and cast it out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when I say we, I'm talking about you and me. We are coming into agreement right now for these things to happen in your life. And all that you need is a mustard seed of faith to believe that God is who he says he is and he can do what he says he's going to do. So I'm asking you to join me in this prayer with a, a great expectancy that the Lord is going to move on your behalf. If you have been attacked with some sort of sickness, any kind of sickness, disease, pestilence, if that's what's been coming upon you, I just command all sickness and infirmity to go right now in the name of Jesus. We bind you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ and command you to go. Leave this vessel of God. Leave this son of God. Leave this daughter of God. For by his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah. By his stripes, by every lash that Jesus Christ received on his back, we are are healed. Sickness has to go in the name of Jesus. Pestilence has to go in the name of Jesus. Infirmity has to go right now in the name of Jesus. You will bow and submit to the authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blood of a Jesus is against every demonic spirit oppressing my brothers and sisters right now. The blood of Jesus Christ is against every demonic spirit that is oppressing my brothers and sisters in Christ, whether it be their heart, 
or their souls, which is their mind, will, and emotions. You will cease your activity. I cancel your assignment today in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, I cancel that assignment today in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is any kind of witchcraft coming up against you right now, I sever the silver, silver cord of any astral projection that's coming up against you with the sword of the spirit that is sharper than a double-edged sword. Hallelujah. I sever it with the living and active word of God. Hallelujah. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I pray that my brothers and sisters that don't know how to walk in the authority that they've been given because they don't know they have authority. I pray you get that revelation today. I pray that you understand that there is life and death in the power of your tongue and pay more attention to to what is coming out of your mouth stop cursing your own self stop speaking weakness over yourself stop speaking that you're tired all the time no you are alive in Christ Jesus hallelujah he is not a god of the living but a god of the dead you can you can what we bind on the earth is bound in the heavenlies. That means we are disallowing it when we bind it. We are forbidding it when we bind it in Jesus name, in the name above any other name. But what we loose, what we loose on the earth is loosed in the heavens. The word loose means to allow. What we're allowing, we're losing hope today. I lose hope in the name of Jesus upon the hopeless. Those of you who have been feeling hopeless, like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, like you are never coming out of your situation you feel like it's not getting any better and you're not seeing any progression. I lose hope over you right now. Let hope rise in the hearts of the people that are going through that and feeling like that right now. Lord Jesus, Father, I thank you in advance. I thank you in advance. Let your peace fall upon anybody right now that has been anxious, troubled in their soul, restless, can't sleep at night. As a matter of fact, anybody whose sleep has been attacked, if you've been tormented with any kind of demonic dreams, if you have been tormented when you go to sleep at night and you keep waking up around the same time and it's, you know, it's not the Lord trying to ask you to pray, but you just feel attacked. Like you're not getting the rest that you should be receiving. Well, I just command whatever that is, that's been attacking your sleep to cease and be no more in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you will lie down and none shall make you afraid. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you will lie down and your sleep shall shall be sweet from this day forth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that anybody that has been assaulted maybe with lustful images in your dreams you're having all these lusted and perverted thoughts in your dreams and you don't know how to overcome it i just command right now for you to have the mind of christ in jesus name you will have the mind of christ in jesus name your thoughts will be holy your thoughts will be righteous and your thoughts will be pure in the name of jesus and if you believe it receive it today i said if you believe it receive it today because without faith it is impossible to please God. So you have to believe that God is going to move on this because when the command goes forth, when the Lord gives a command, no one can turn it back. And when the Lord gives a command, his word does not come back to him empty, but it will accomplish everything that he sent it out to do. It will prosper in the thing for which he sent it. So I pray that you would just come into agreement with me right now. If you have been burdened, deep down in your soul because maybe you have children or unsaved family members unsaved family members and you're worrying because maybe you know you know we are in the last days and you know Jesus is coming back and you want them to be right with him you need to believe that they are going to be saved job 22:30 says and i quote the innocent for the innocent will be saved by the cleanness of your hands. Those who are innocent will be saved by the cleanness of your hands. Why are your hands clean? Not because of anything you have done, not because of the life you lived, but because of the perfect, sinless, spotless, blameless life that God in the flesh, Jesus Christ lived 
for you. And when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you are now the righteousness of Christ. Hallelujah. And we are to practice that righteousness. I pray that anybody that has not been practicing that righteousness would start practicing that righteousness today. I pray for any lukewarm Christians, any carnal Christians that, you know, you, you've been halfway into loving the things of this world and halfway into your Bible and halfway into the word. I pray that today he would set you ablaze for his glory, that he would ignite a fire in you, like fire shut up in your bones that never dies out. I pray that he would release streams of living water that would flow from your belly and out of your heart right now in the name of Jesus. No more lukewarmness for you. No more lukewarmness for you. You will be on fire for Christ from this day forward. Hallelujah. Back to the unsaved family members. I decree and declare right now that your family members will be saved. They shall be saved. Keep praying for them. Keep interceding for them. Keep believing for them. Okay. You are their covering. The Lord has recently put this on my heart. I am interceding for a lot of my family members. And he has told me again and again, you are their covering. You are protecting them from danger seen and unseen. Hallelujah. So just continue to be their covering. I am alive today because somebody cared enough to pray for me. I'm going to say it again. I am alive today because somebody cared enough to pray for me. Hallelujah. And the Lord put me on that person's heart, whoever that person was. Maybe it was a family member, could have been a family member, but he might have even put it on the hearts of strangers because our God is so amazing. Our God will put your name and your face on the heart of somebody that doesn't even know you to intercede for you in prayer so that you will endure to the end, having done all to stand. Hallelujah. So I just pray that he will equip and enable you and empower you to do just that. Run your race. Endure to the end, having done all to stand, not wavering. I command all double-mindedness right now to go. You will be single-minded for Christ. You will be single-minded for Christ. You will not waver between two different opinions. You will know you are saved and you will rest securely in that because salvation cannot be attained by your works. We are saved by God's grace through faith, it is no works of our own. All we have to do is have a continuous and a regular relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and trust him to do everything that he told, everything that he said he would do. But that requires you meditating on the word day and night. Study to show yourself approved. If you have not been studying, if you're having trouble getting into your Bible, if you're having problems, maybe you're falling asleep, that's another spiritual attack. If you have some kind of apathy going on when you get in your Bible, you're not getting revelation. You don't feel like God is speaking to you. Maybe you're even falling asleep. I command whatever that spirit is, that spirit of distraction, that spirit of apathy, to be bound right now whatever is trying to keep you from meditating on the word and studying to show yourself approved I command it to go in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now in faith in the name of Jesus Christ that the next time you get into your Bible that you're going to say speak Lord for your servant hears and he is going to speak to you through his word and his word is going to start to make sense to you because the word is alive and active Jesus is the word word made flesh and he is risen. Hallelujah. So I decree and declare that the Bible, you're no longer going to look at it like just a book. It's not just a book. Jesus is the living and active word of God. This is how you encounter your father in heaven. This is how you encounter your Lord and savior, the one who created you and breathed breath into you. Hallelujah. So if you've been apathetic, that's going to stop today. It's going to cease in the name of Jesus. If you've been falling asleep every single time you open up your Bible, that will end right now. Satan, I rebuke you and everything you're trying to do when it comes to that. And I just command right now whew, for a hunger 
and a thirst for all things concerning the kingdom of God to rise up in the people in the name of Jesus that are watching this right now. A hunger and a thirst for your righteousness, Lord Jesus, like never before in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the mighty work that you are doing in the lives of these people right now and how you are moving mightily on their behalf to liberate and set the captives free, to burst their bonds apart, to bring peace to uh, wherever there was chaos and restlessness before, bring peace to a troubled soul right now, Lord. Peace, peace like a river, peace like an ever flowing stream, peace that surpasses all understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.